Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. is about to be rewarded for I have saved the best for last I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency it will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld this elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe it has Patreon flowers Margovian nectar powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon all this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry, you are. Someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? <laughs> it's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Water folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you, to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A 
generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. This is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <clears throat> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. Best two out of three? Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. <laughs> you haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, Kung Lao. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. Mm. 
You were hungry. <clears throat> oh, everything was delicious, Madam Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. Against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Mad Bo. Now who's in over his head? This was you? Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on. Let's help Madame Bo. How does he do that? I have no idea. You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Get over here! Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. It is you who will regret crossing me. before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Are you sure you're a Grand Master? Interesting. Kung Lao, over here! Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo, how are you... Kung Lao.
So, Madame Beau, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Be hard, Kui Liang. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Fengjian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. Still burning. Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow.
Vala and his shield. What? So? There's metal in the floor. That's not just any metal. It's liquid mercury. Shit, that stuff's toxic. Fatal. Only step where I step. What did I say? I'm sorry. I... Not now. Get out the explosives. That's our bridge? Do this right, it'll fall across. Kalima? Is it real? Keep working. I'll take care of the she beasts. For your sin, you die! Got no time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. Millions. It belongs in a museum. My best friend, and I'm not one to forgive and forget. Now, where's that shield? I am not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Time to go home. I knew it! Ooh. I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slate. That's a wrap. Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it! <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have... You're right! Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marshall will call you. Great! Have your assistant call me. That was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris, we're fine. 
Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Hmm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Uh, that's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris, come on, Chris, where are you going? Fuck! How do you like that, Mr. A-list? Thank God. Ah, oh, Chris, honey, I... Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way you're Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. My house, my rules. So, you have a name or what? Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Taira for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh... You sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi, a tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Be hard, Kui Liang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, hey, you, uh, wait, wait. hey, you, get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. And scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kui Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Lu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow! See? It won't be effective. Maybe it's too effective. Uh, we just need to get on with it. We've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My ex will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh, <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched, but Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully. Because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. 
I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. This fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead. Try it. Incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be 
both alien and intoxicated to Earth Realmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. Six-armed beings are not Nadans. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Rin. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shaw. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. 
Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Thank you for the match, First Constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Felled by a simple farmer.
I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raiden, though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes, from your descriptions, except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld, not his given name but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, princess? Uh, I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earthrealmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. Come. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. Was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. 
Katana will take your place. What? There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. You continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. You fight well, princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Navala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. It's over. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earthrealm wins. May I assist you? Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. 
Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agent. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. I will reclaim it, Cage. Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. I bet you your Kuz pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew them off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those... things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gun. Still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsung. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron? We did this thing where, like, we're not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. Uh, 
On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Now please, let me explain. Uh, you got us into this. How about getting us out? I know what this looks like, but we don't work for Shang Tsung. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No, we don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. What does Shang Tsung want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know. But he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. Titan larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long-lasting. How can you be sure? Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow, it couldn't be more potent. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. And he's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her, you bitch. Excuse me? You know, the movie. Tiny girl, ginormous alien. Ripley! No? Seriously? <laughs> Earthrealmers. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? 
sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung, but it looks like he's just part of the problem. The High Mage is brought low. I thought Umgadi were loyal to the royal house. Yet here you are, scheming against the princess. You trespass in Outworld. Interfere in Imperial matters. It is you, not I, who is the schemer here. Your plot is over. Step away from the table. This is twice you've been a thorn in my side. You Earthrealmers do have unhealthy habits. You heard him. You're not infecting her with Tarka. I am trying to protect her, not infect her. We've heard about how you lie. Excuse us if we're skeptical. Cover him. Princess, are you all right? Uh, is it over? Yes, you're safe. We've stopped Shang Tsung. Stopped him? Why? Princess! Princess, what's wrong? What did you do to her? It's what you've done, fool. Let me help her before it's too late. Time to finish more serum. Johnny, a hand? We got pages for this? Or are we winging it? Whatever we do, we can't hurt her. Her? I'm worried about us. <laughs> Princess, we can help you. Your blood. I smell it. How sweet it will be to lick off my fingers. Johnny, Kong Lao, help hold her down. It's now or never, Shang Tsung. men were sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? That's totally fake news! Princess, we were... Thank you, Goro. I've no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earthrealmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. At least until the Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. No, they would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. It is no misunderstanding, Princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Left unchecked, 
Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. I apologize for not arriving sooner to defend your sister. I am glad she received her treatment. The princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Quan Chi, when do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, Princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. Rain, Tanya, assist me. What truly happened here, Sorcerer? That the Earthrealmers interrupted the Princess's treatment was happenstance. They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earthrealm's serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Outworld needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. If my realm requires it of me... Kill the Earthrealmers. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Oh, their deaths will also feed the ire between realms. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Our benefactor will be pleased. She needs the realms at war, not at the brink of it, in order to conquer them both. Only then will we rule at her side. Before she found me languishing in the mines, I would not have thought such a thing possible. But soon... Shelep transformed us from serfs into scions. You've been at that for hours. If you could see, you'd know why. That's not happening, is it? Keep talking, will ya? To keep my mind off this. Tell me about life before you got sick. I was doing well. Trading goods up and down the Farta coast. My family was comfortable. Happy. <sighs> then, Tarkat came. It took my wife. Then my children. Cruelly, it lets me live for now. I think it enjoys ravaging my body more slowly. Ugh. This hangover. Oh. Can't she? God damn it. How bad's the pain? Excruciating. You saved me. I won't forget that. But you may just regret it. What are you doing? When did we take the left turn into survival horror? This is Shang Tsung's real laboratory. We're beneath where we were before. That was a false front. Reminds me of this cheap-ass film I did in my early days. Flesh Pits. God, that was trash. Who's that? Our jailer. How is he? His eyes are gouged out. Guess. That will dull the pain. 
your file to be part of this. You are Shang Tsung's prisoner. I am his slave. He has my family. He'll kill them if I don't obey. From you? We saw him do that. It was unreal. So how does it work? You just shape shift in anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Whoa. You're Zeterin. Your race can shape shift. None can except me. Are they ready? It's time. Time for what, sorcerer? Replication experiments. They begin with your vivisection. I'll use your harvested parts to build new creations. The process is fatal, of course. Liu Kang won't let you get away with this. <laughs> that presumes he will ever learn what happened. But when I am done, there will be no trace left of you. I shall return soon to check progress. I have other matters to which I must attend. You don't have to do this! It's either you or my family. Put them in the chamber. Soon, Baraka. Soon will punish me for this by torturing my family. You'll pay. We are leaving. Then kill me. If I die, maybe he'll spare my family. No. I won't murder you. It's mercy, not murder. Not that what I've done deserves yours. You were protecting your family. I would have done the same. What has happened here? Size off, you fool! You've let them ruin everything. Liu Kang would like a word. I cannot be apprehended so easily. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I bid you all farewell. Cheer up, Sizoff. I'm reuniting you with your family. They're dead. You killed them? Many moons ago. I do hate loose ends. We gotta get out of here. What's wrong? The door must have sealed when the gas was released. Stand aside. Test your might. Leave me. 
I'll just slow you down. What? Shang Tsung finds you, he'll kill you. Look at me, Cage. I'm useless. Don't risk your lives to save mine. Hey, you are not giving up. The Tyra need you, remember? We are gonna get back home and figure out how to help you. Got it? We can't linger. We'll be captured. We need help getting Kenshi to the portal at Sundo. I can take you only to the city's gates. Forgottens are forbidden inside. I'll see you the rest of the way. It's the least I can do to make amends. God, this reminds me of Wicked Planet. We had this forest in the second act. The Manticore battle. Yes! It was a pain to shoot, but man, did it come out epic. I can picture it exactly. This is the living forest. Aren't all forests living, Baraka? No others have trees that house the souls of the dead. Whoa, wait a tick. We're talking ghosts? Good ones, not evil. You guys know anybody in here? Some distant relatives. You will find no Zaterans. Why not? The warm bloods don't welcome us. So we keep to ourselves, living underground in Sikander province. Then how did you meet Shang Tsung? That I could take human form made me a freak among my people. I was terrorized and run out, starving and beggared. I joined a traveling carnival. Turned out there are many who would pay good money to see my gift. Uh, back then, Shang Tsung was a, a huckster. We crossed paths and he saw what I could do. When he began to learn real sorcery, he asked to study me. When I declined, he took my family hostage. Well, that's an offer you can't refuse. He is dangerous. And he has plans. He, General Shao, Rain, they are conspiring. To do what? I can't say for certain. I've only overheard fragments. She sends more demons? Wait! We're not! With each of you I kill, my absolution grows nearer. Shedding your blood brings me closer to the light. Whoever you are, we are not demons. If not demons, what are you? He's a Terran. I am a Denian. Or I was before my Tarkat affliction. Outworlders? Apologies. I'm glad I've caused neither of you permanent injury. <laughs> what is that? Just keep swimming. So, who's our femme fatale? I am Ashra. Demon of the Nether Realm. Demon? You look human. Mostly. And what's a Nether Realm? The monks covered that with us. Did you sleep through every lesson? That one, apparently. <sighs> Nether Realm's hell, but real. No shit. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. When I'm done, the last vestiges of my demonic form will fade away. Why were the demons after you? They were sent by Quan Chi, my former master. I was part of his sisterhood of shadow. He wanted, still wants, dominion over the realms. I renounced him when I realized that I could not help him defile them. And now he wants you dead. Precisely. I followed Quan Chi from the Nether Realm here. 
He's building devices that steal souls on a mass scale. He's testing the first on the dead that reside in the forest. Why steal souls, Ashra? To harness their power. To what end, I don't know. But I do know that it's to aid the designs of another sorcerer. Sheng Tsung. Damn it. That guy's everywhere. You're sure Quan Chi is here? My Chris senses him. He's nearby. No, no. We're getting you home. We have a job to do. Quan Chi could lead us to Shang Tsung. Your Liu Kang is right. Shang Tsung's a danger that must be dealt with. I will aid you. As will I. Uh, well, I guess the eyes have it. Motion carries. Ashra, lead the way. She is close. The emanations of his evil grow stronger. That is a powerful weapon. And my perfect ally. As I smite the evil it finds, I am further purified. Now I've done steps, so I'm all for self-help. But since when does a demoness want to be less evil? I had spent eternity damned to the Nether Realm. I had assumed that's all there was to existence. But then I saw Earthrealm, saw Outworld, saw there was a better way to live, and that to have it, I needed to cleanse my soul. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. Kia and Jataka were the first to hunt me. Quan Chi is also a demon? Actually, he's an Outworlder. But he mastered the dark magic needed for unfettered travel to my realm. Any idea how he buddied up with Shang Tsung? They share a common benefactor. She plucked them both from obscurity, taught them everything they know. I've never met her, but there's no question that she is a sorceress beyond compare. Quan Chi is near. Contributions. Excellent, Nitara. I need yours as well. Darius and I have been thinking, sorcerer. Do not try to renegotiate, Havoc. We need proof that you'll deliver. That he's delivered for Nitara's Veternians is all the proof you need. Serena's right. Because of Quan Chi's magic, my realm's people are no longer poisoned by sunlight. We've finally escaped the shadows. Rest assured, the spells you will receive will bring down Order Realm's government. When will we have them, Quan Chi? After the attack on Earth Realm, which could be called off if the Soul Stealer's efficacy isn't demonstrated promptly. Earthrealm is in grave danger. Just one soul stealer can kill hundreds of thousands. If he unleashes a battery of their money... Millions will die. He must be stopped. I will deal with Quan Chi. The four of you subdue the others. Whoa there, big fella. This stops where you get off. You heard her. Millions could die. Which is why we don't want you tripping us up out there. Now... Give me your sword. Why? Just give it. What? I can't. Not when you've you saved my life. It's yours. Again, you have 
evade capture, Ashra. And now it appears you've found allies. We are joined against you, sorcerer. You won't be stealing any souls. Enchanted. It was forged to destroy evil. It's slain many of your vampire kind. We can't help what we are. That we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. I am one step closer to redemption. <laughs> If I'm to liberate Order Realm, I'll not let him fail. Killing one realm to free another is a heinous proposition. One I won't let you fulfill. Fight! <laughs> Take your chaos elsewhere. I always feared you would be trouble, Ashra. You are not compliant like your sisters. And now they're dead by my hand because you sent them against me. I'll never forgive you for that, Quan Chi. When I'm finished here, I will finish you.
siphoned his souls. It now has his power. That was unexpected. You're telling me. Shall we finish this? Let's. This fight's not over. I'll defeat all of Quan Chi's minions. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. Resistance is never pointless. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. What's wrong with him? Combat must have weakened the magic that binds his souls together. Sindel, I'll find you. What was that? Watch him. I'll shut down the Soul Stealer. Since that didn't kill you, I will. No, Ashra! He's too dangerous to let live. Liu Kang needs to question him. He knows Shang Tsung's plans. Very well. Well, clearly I underpaid for that. Did you know what it could do? The legends never mentioned mystical powers. The souls of my ancestors live within it. They intend to guide me. Just don't forget who gave it to you, Takahashi. I won't, Cage. Now, let's get him to Earthrealm. I know home's here for you, Baraka. But size off, Ashra. You can come with if you want. I'm sure Liu Kang will welcome you. I've never had a home. That would be wonderful. Report, Shang Tsung. The Soul Stealers are under construction. Quan Chi tests the final components as we speak. And the army? Will obey your every command, once it's been fed sufficient souls. I've also conceived a plan to break the Lin Kuei away from Liu Kang. Instead of defending Earthrealm, they will betray it. Excellent. You have learned quickly, Shang Tsung. And well. You will soon reap the bounty of what you've sown. these Earth Realmers we're looking for. You have their descriptions. You could at least tell me why they're here. What they've done. State secrets. Not for your ears. Yes, Princess. 
Fetch us water, please. As you wish. Careful, sister. Entanglements with Ungadi are forbidden. You know their vows. Who told you? No one. I have eyes. As do the snakes at court who would cheer your downfall. The Ungadi's rules are ridiculous. And you can change them when you are Empress. For now, you cannot jeopardize your ascension. Night, night, sweet Prince of Darkness. Oh, perfect. You'll fit right in. You couldn't steal a more functional hat. What? It hides your face. And honestly, it suits you. I still don't know about this. Carrying him around will attract unwanted attention. Look at it out there. It's like Mardi Gras. People will think you just party too hard. <clears throat> What's the word? Go toward the stage, then right to the portal gate. But there are soldiers and constables everywhere. Are you sure these are enough? One person spots us, and we are dead. And that's why I'll create a diversion. They're out for you too, Sizoth. To catch me, they must see me. Huh? Damn. You didn't tell me you could go full predator. I'm going nowhere. Douse the fires! Find who set them! Stand down, General. This is my problem, not the military's. Look. Sizoff. You know him? Who is he? Unimportant. But it means the Earth Realmers are here. Rico! Blood? <laughs> You're Zeterran. How can you- There is much you don't know. Like what the General is truly up to. <sighs> Surrender and I'll hear you out. I can't if you resist arrest. You arrest me, he'll execute me. And that's not how I intend to die. <laughs> know that I am sorry for disturbing Sundo's peace. Ludicrous. Princess, no. You could be hurt. Insurrection from a Zeteran? This is a day I never thought I'd see. You misread my intentions, Princess. 
Sadly, I've no time to explain them. Soon, you will know the truth. Take the princess and go. My fight's not with her, or you. It is now that you've laid your hands on her. I will take your life as punishment. My sentence is suspended, Umgadi. Found you. This is one of my movies. We get saved by a plucky comic sidekick. <laughs> if we die today, we die together. Not comic, but definitely plucky. It's unlike Shen Tsung to leave loose ends. Now that I'm free of him, I'll reveal your conspiracy to all of Outworld. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the kind. Dead men tell no tales. Fight. You won't silence me, General. We must go. Now! Boom. Johnny, Kenshi, Kung Lao. You have safely returned. By the Elder Gods. Yeah, we had a run-in with Princess Melina's inner demons. She took my sight, but Sento, in its own way, restored it. I am glad that Sento bonded with you. Though my hope was that the means would be different this time. This time? Forgive me, Genshi. I misspoke. The monks will tend to your wounds. We found Shang Tsung, but he got away. I can see why you're twitchy about him. He's neck deep in some serious shit. Rest. Eat. Then we will discuss. Can I also get a martini? Shaken, not stirred? Ah, I'm sorry. Meet the newest members of the Earthrealm players. We wouldn't have made it back without them. Ashra and Sizos. You know us? As Earthrealm's protector, there is much I know. Do you also know of my former master, Quan Chi? He colludes with Shang Tsung. A new deadly alliance? Come, all of you. You must tell me all you know. Well, so much for that martini. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi again conspire against Earthrealm? What Johnny and Kenshi report should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power, let alone joined forces. And your work was flawless. Such would their lives have been, had someone not interfered. Interfered? What do you mean? Both sorcerers were visited by this person. It is her intervention that bent the arcs of their lives. Who is she? 
unknown. Her identity has been obscured from the hourglass. Who could have that power? Is it Kronika? Somehow resurrected? Impossible. Titans once destroyed cannot be revived. Then someone else must have survived the previous timeline. Someone with a vendetta against me. It is the only plausible theory. You must determine its validity, Gears. The fate of the realms may depend on it. How long are we expected to linger? Patience, Bihan. There are many demands on Liu Kang's attention. Were he here? Father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in, made you one of us. But your blood will never be Lin Kuei. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Shang Tsung is here, at the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than- We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. The only way in is over the walls. We must find a less guarded section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. Glory? We fight for duty. Does our father's ghost possess you? All I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Vision is what he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Our clan doesn't govern. It serves. That is our past. It won't be our future. Boy, I heard tales of battles against your kind. I had fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. You will end this day hungry. What is this? We are charged with defending the fortress. None will escape us. Test your might. You are quite.
won Xi's creation. Liu Kang warned about you. I had hoped for the chance to battle your dark magic. You're not so fearsome. You're both unharmed? We are, brother. Good. After our years of idleness, it pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. Continue working. I must oversee production of the remaining basins. That's Quan Chi. The other sorcerer Liu Kang described. Kuai Liang and I will capture him. Stay here. Do not let them activate the Soul Stealers. Steelers be completed on time, Quan Chi. Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, we'll halt their construction. Agreed. Sends no other way. Your failure was inevitable. This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you. You won't decline. Unless it's your surrender, I am not interested. I had hoped for a worthier enemy.
Perhaps now you wish to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control. To gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. Ignore him, brother. He promises only corruption. Grandmaster, I am sure you're asking yourself, can I afford to trust a man I have never met? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford not to? in common. We both feel the pull of Liu Kang's leash. Once Outworld rules Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen! We must stop them, not- Silence, Kui Liang. But brother- Obey your Grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul Stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. They built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. Impressive. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court. by fragments of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. turn in his grave if he saw this. He was a doddering old fool. He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you'd try to save him. A lie. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. <laughs> Hmm. 
61. Are you going to blunder or make yourself useful? This Earth realm must be neutralized. Neither of you are up to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape. Decline Shang Tsung's offer. I assume your brother has not. The sorcerer tempted him into forsaking his oath. He can be convincing, can't he? Spurning him is a grave mistake. The mistake is yours, Outworlder. What have you done? Flame is not easily smothered. Split up! We must find him! What happened? Where's Bihan? He's betrayed us. We're all in imminent danger. Letting Father die. Forsaking Earthrealm? He's abandoned all reason! I knew Bihan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes, I am with you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Do your oaths mean nothing? It's your duty to obey my will. Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition! My fight. End this, brother. Embrace the future. I want no part of it. You pervert all that it means to be Lin Kuei. <laughs> you are my grandmaster no longer. What are you doing? 
Once he's exposed, won't you be made Grandmaster? You forget Cyrax and Sector. Their loyalty to Bihan is absolute. They'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me. We must chart a new course. One that both honors our father's legacy and serves Earthrealm. Help me. We can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. You arrived not a moment too soon, Giras. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Shang Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Kyrus? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently with ours. Two timelines, side by side, moving forward simultaneously? Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Hmm. And who she is, why she's here, where she's from. All questions we need answered. Which we can't, or we are under attack. I will go to Sindel. Convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on Earthrealm. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? <sighs> The Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death. The pain it caused Empress Sindel has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. 
He played to the general's vanity, inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone can save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Driver, what is it? I may need that aid right now. Return Liu Kang to the portal gate, Li Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the General, Reiko, nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. You should have joined us, not the constabulary. We could have used your Umgari skills. Enough! I've no use for a traitor's compliments. You and your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. We must leave. Reinforcements will be on the way. Word of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. You know who I am. Of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome. But in my heart, I am still Umgadi. I will always honor my vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. How dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You'd let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my Emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. <laughs> No, daughter. Your condition. Your faithlessness astounds, Li Mei. How can you side with Earthrealm against us? I'm acting for your family's benefit and for Outworlds. If you took a moment, you'd realize it. You must be smarter, princess. No, Melina. I forbid it. 
I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. I remember teaching you that, princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. Please, Princess, just listen. We shouldn't fight. Forgive me, Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Tarkat makes victims of us all. I am in your debt. No, your majesty. There can be no debt between friends. I am glad she is safe, and that our conflict has ended. It is paused, not ended. Li Mei has earned my goodwill. Whether you do remains to be seen. I seek only peace, your majesty. Is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire? You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Could I have so misjudged them? For Shang Tsung to indulge in such depravity, for General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. I is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now, but eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a Titan, and the Keeper of Time. This is Gyrus. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Gyrus is the guardian of the Hourglass, a celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The Hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence, which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design, the others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. 
Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. Yusidel were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly, but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Guan Qi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad, I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. How dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation! Don't move! Empress, everyone, stay back. What is it? The Amulet of Shinnok, a weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, brother! You both bend the knee to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle not trained with my weapon? I am more than prepared. So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. You're no better than Shang Tsung's monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters, they are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. that you are party to Shao's treason. Know that it will cost you your life. I owe him mine many times over. Sacrificing it in his service would be an honor. Your rebellion is doomed. Your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. Shang Tsung's taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. You are forever dead to me. Your reign is over, Sindel. I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals? Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. You are relieved, General. The amulet, your majesty.
here to disrupt. But we must act quickly to save Earthrealm. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. It is the request of a friend. And the Soul Stealers. Keep them running. I am sure we'll find a use for the collected souls. No. Those are the General's most loyal lieutenants. They must be neutralized if we are to shut down the Soul Stealers. Yes, they do. We should split up. and you'll feel the points of my blade. We are many. You are one. Your souls will become part of our collection. You'll have no part of me, Ermac. Amazing, Melina. In another life, you could have been Umgadi. <laughs> I prefer this one, dearest Tanya. We must leave. Quickly! Melina, wait! Father? was created from the living forest souls. Mine was one of them. Your attack broke the spell that binds us. Now, I am in control. Father! You are Umgadi, but not Li Mei. I replaced her after your death, your majesty. She left the order rather than accept punishment. Punishment? It was not her fault. A discussion for another time, Father. We must go. Jared? Yes. 
Yes, Sindel. It's me. Oh, how I've missed you. Greetings, Jared. Liu Kang, my friend. We meet again. It is good to have you back. We once again find ourselves in challenging circumstances. And once again, we will prevail. As always, Sindel, I am yours to command. How is it they're unaware that the Soul Stealers are shut down? They are deep within the mountain. From here they couldn't tell. Look at them conspiring. It is history we should not be repeating. We must take the crown. Without it, he can't raise more warriors. Our odds will improve if we can surround them. I'll distract them while the rest of you get into position. Leave it to me, Mother. Princess Melina. I bring news from Outworld. Sindel is deposed. General Shao now rules. And yet you are still free. To succeed, the General needed help on the inside. I provided it. The heir to the throne gives it up willingly. <laughs> it is a burden I've never wanted. The realm is better left in general... Uh, Emperor Shao's hands. A most mature perspective. Outworld benefits from your wisdom. Yes, Shang Tsung, it does. But not in the manner that you expect. Gambit, princess. It is an impressive display of guile. Who knew she was so capable? You count yourselves among my doubters? I will count you among the dead. <laughs> there will be consequences for forsaking Outworld. <clears throat> Thanks to the princess, this fight is ended. The fight, perhaps. Not the battle. True. Until your benefactor is caught, the realms remain threatened. Who is she, sorcerer? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Liu Kang. Meet Damashi. Damashi? You are the victim of deception, sorcerer. You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you are me. A poor facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the Hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Liu Kang. It turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. In the other, it was you. It was eons before I discovered this. Once I did, I knew the path forward. I took this form and infiltrated your timeline. I elevated these wretches, giving them great power. Together, 
they sowed discord among the realms and assembled for me the Dragon Army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline, and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter? You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose served. You will be sacrificed. We served you loyally, built you the Dragon Crown. This? This is a toy. I do not need it to control the Dragon Army. Only the souls contained within. Goodbye, Liu Kang. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. It appears our interests align. For now. Know that I trust neither of you. I will finish you both at the first hint of treachery. wrong serum wearing off must stay in control you attack my family i will make you suffer further resistance serves no purpose this timeline will be destroyed fight If you dare, I will finish what Raiden could not. Your tenacity is to be admired. Until our last breaths are taken, as long as blood flows through our veins, we are not beaten. <laughs> Noble sentiments, which in the end matter little. None of you will leave here alive. child lose her mother. If my mother dies, she won't be the only Sindel to perish! <laughs> 
It's my time, dear. At least we had a few hours more. I will cherish them. Mother. You are now Empress. Rule well. I will, Mother. Father and Katana will help me. your mother's soul. It resides within me. She is safe. Hurry, everyone. We must withdraw. that large among realms he'll need a portal yes more than one you will need a nexus of portal gateways it must be nearby we follow them they will lead us to it agreed but we cannot strike until Raiden and Kung Lao arrive that the Lin Kuei won't aid us is unforgivable Bihan has corrupted them totally when this crisis ends we will deal with that one this is but the opening battle in a longer war. Titan Shang Tsung has prepared his entire timeline for it. We cannot match its strength. My counterpart said that your battle with him ripped time's fabric, creating two timelines. But how do we know that it wasn't torn further? If there are two timelines, can't there be more? Why the thought experiment, sorcerer? You said we lack strength. We might find it in other timelines. How would we do that? We gather allies from across timelines. Other Titans to build an overwhelming force. If they exist. We have no proof that they do. We must fight the battle in front of us. We can't stake our survival on pure conjecture. If Liu Kang is right, the battle in front of us is already lost. This may be our only hope. Giris, your thoughts? It is possible. But as I am only the Hourglass's steward, such a search is beyond me. It can only be undertaken by the Keeper of Time. And I no longer wield that power. You may be able to regain it. What? How do you mean? When you gave up control of the Hourglass, I worried that one day you would find you needed it. So rather than let your power dissipate, I collected it. To this day, it remains safely stored. Why did you never tell me this? Because the process of restoring your power is likely irreversible. Returning to the life you have now as Earthrealm's protector a life you cherish may be impossible. And you did not want me tempted to make that sacrifice unless it was absolutely necessary. Correct. Thank you, Giris. You have saved us with your wisdom. Now, where have you stored my power? We must retrieve it. It is at the Fire Temple, stored in the Jade Jaguar gifted to you by the great Kung Lao.
Yes, Giris. Liu Kang has proven more resilient than anticipated. He and his comrades have escaped the fortress. Forget the others. Find Liu Kang. He alone threatens my plans. You could have picked no better vessel to store my power, Giris. I have always treasured the great Kung Lao's gift. It reminds me of his meticulous nature and his generous heart. Once we retrieve the Jade Jaguar, we will proceed to the Hourglass. There, we will transfer the temporal power stored within it to you. It now occurs to me that all along, you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become Keeper of Time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Gareth. Now, this process you propose, you are sure it will restore my power? As sure as I can be of one that has been neither tried nor tested. But even if successful, it is not guaranteed that you will find any other timelines or allies. They may not exist. <sighs> I pray this is not a fool's errand. I hate leaving the others behind. Your champions will bolster their strength against the Dragon Army. It is sure to be the mother of all battles. May the Elder Gods protect them. My ex was so wrong. The 30k I spent on this seems like a steal right now. This magic is incredible. Not magic, your loveliness. Technology. Either way, it's clear what must happen next. The gateways and the dragon army have to be destroyed. Scorpion, have you a plan? We must divide our forces. You, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, will use your magic to attack the portals. As you do, Kenshi and Jared will grind down the Dragon Army. The rest of us will attack our Dark Doubles. If they're defeated, it will hopefully throw the Dragon Warriors into disarray. An astute strategy. Truly, I could not have devised a better one. Enough with the empty flattery. If you want our trust, give us actions, not words.
is unfortunate. The battle continues, Shang Tsung. Quan Chi, with me. I, for one, am not pleased we were double-crossed. It is an ire I share. May I suggest we harness our anger and use it to obliterate my doppelganger's minions. <laughs> this pair will trouble us no more. There are more who acquire our attention. Welcome, sorcerers. Is it me, or is that Raiden becoming insufferable? You are not wrong, but it is tomorrow's problem. Let us first solve today's. Problem solved. It's progress. Now on to the next. His life force is feeding the portal's energy. We kill him. We close them permanently. These meddling minions grow tiresome. Let us finish them. So much for fire and ice. Soul is ours. Army's trapped. All of the other realms in this timeline are safe. Never forget, Raiden, that we risked our lives to perform this service. One that wouldn't have been needed if you hadn't conspired with the other Shang Tsung. They will fight to the last man. Come, we must help the others. Search. 
ready enough. May there be other timelines and titans to find. Garrus? Liu Kang? Easy, Katana. You are among friends. What's happened? Where am I? A long way from home. In a different timeline, to be precise. What? Are you also a... A keeper of time? Yes. Both of us? How is that possible? The battle for Kronika's hourglass ripped apart time's fabric. Where there once was one timeline, there are now many. Each new timeline represents a different possible outcome of that battle. In mine, I became Time's Keeper. In yours, it was you. In others, it could be Jade, Sindel, even Kano. The possibilities are endless. If many timelines sprung from one, and we were both part of it, then you are... You are my Liu Kang. The same one who battled you in Shang Tsung's courtyard. Who fought at your side at the Colosseum. Who beamed with pride when you became Outworld's Khan. Why does fate seem always to conspire against us? deny us life's simple pleasures. I don't know. Perhaps in one of the many timelines, they are ours. I would like to think you brought me here for them. But I know you well enough to know better. What duty beckons us? I will tell you. But first, we must gather more of our old friends. Shang Tsung, Titan, wielding the power of the Hourglass? Yes, Kung Lao. He is a threat to all timelines. He is not yet aware of any beyond his and Liu Kang's. For now, it is only a matter of time. I had hoped my victory over Kronika would end the endless cycle of combat. Sadly, it begins anew. We have no choice. We must stop Shang Tsung. The millions in my White Lotus Society will aid us, if needed. Thank you, my friends. He is here. have found allies. Titan allies, in fact. How could I have been so blind? Of course our timelines aren't the only two. Retreat to yours, Shang Tsung. Your attempt to merge timelines has failed. Yes. Your comrades proved most resourceful. Thus, I have resigned myself to simply destroying your timeline. Knowing that others exist to conquer makes that choice much more palatable. Once I destroy your hourglass, your timeline will cease to exist. I will take great pleasure in finishing you one last time. I know what you'll do before you do it. Likewise. Let's hope our advantage proves decisive. Ha! 
how I've missed fighting by Katana's side. Musaurus, go! Let's rip the flesh from their bones. Artanias of all timelines, this evil. Mine is no better. You should meet mine. She's a vast improvement. I'd like that. Should we survive this battle? Are you the best Shang Tsung can do? It has begun. Hourglass is emptied. This timeline will be destroyed. You quickly, my friend. This battle ends with your timeline obliterated. Your final moments will be torture and pain. I do not fear your bravado. I have bested twins far more evil than you. Go back to your timeline, brothers. We have little time. The hourglass is failing. Then let us end this, now. Be good girls and kill them, won't you? As you command, Shang Tsung. Katana and I will fight them. You save the hourglass. Yes, Liu okay. Kang. <laughs> Fool. You cannot save it. I don't know which of them is worse. Both are cracked reflections of me. They are abominations. Neither will survive this fight. Once Shang Tsung is finished, you will be too. Thank you, everyone, for your aid. This battle was won together. Shang Tsung is gone, but he's not defeated. He will be back to renew his campaign. Not only against this timeline, but against all timelines. Our choice is clear. We must take the fight to him. Destroy any power he has to make war against us. Agreed. Cheng Sung is likely already gathering allies as I gathered you. We must best his efforts. Assemble an overwhelming army from across all timelines.
nowhere to run, Shang Tsung. Nowhere to hide. We have banded together to rid all timelines of your evil. The threat you pose to them ends today. Such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way. Because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. Behold, Liu Kang, the hell I unleash upon you.
Lightning will strike you down. Fight! Don't burn out. Thank you, Kitana. You're welcome. Now hurry. There's no time to waste. You face the greatest warrior who ever lived. Assist me, Quan Chi. Scorpion, you are almost there. You won't like how this ends. Follow me. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and Ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who will be eradicated. You and your followers. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine.
Your position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is, if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight! And they called me the Chosen One. I am honored, Liu Kang. Shall we finish this? You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this. May that be the last we see of you. What's happening? Timeline. Without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Scorpion. May we one day meet again. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream, Outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope, I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden! The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet. But I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. 
If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? Whew, not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Don't worry, Sean. I've got this covered. Besides, my business manager tells me I can write this whole thing off. The realms are in safe hands. he struggles everyone who fought today did so fiercely <laughs> had i not been here for it i would have thought it impossible warriors from across timelines clashing in combat <laughs> the blood the death the chaos Yes, Lord Havoc. It's unfortunate it all ended so fast. The next time, it won't. With General Shao freed from prison, we began raising a new army against the royal family. Though many were eager recruits, few were good at soldiering. It was so bad, the general was forced to change tactics. He decided that we needed a doomsday weapon. That weapon isn't a thing, though. It is a monster. Onaga, the Dragon King. The general told me the old legends were true, that his ancient ancestor defeated Onaga trapping him deep inside Mount Sagan. The Dragon King is still there today, his pent-up fury waiting to be unleashed. Because Onaga is so dangerous, the General wouldn't risk trying to tame him before. But now, he feels we have no choice. Though I likely won't survive, I accept this mission gladly. I can think of no greater honor than to give my life in the General's service. My loyal partner had warned me. Reclaiming my power as Keeper of Time might have unforeseen consequences. In this, as in most things, he proved prescient. The process I had undergone did irreparable harm to my body. Taking back my power had cost me my immortality. While my lifespan would still stretch across eons, I would one day perish. And if the war with Titan Shang Tsung taught me anything, it is that this timeline is not safe without a protector. Yet I had never given thought to choosing a successor. Who is it that could replace me and protect my new era? The answer, of course, is Gyrus. Tireless and meticulous, he is perfectly suited to be entrusted with this grave duty. And no one knows better the temptations of the hourglass. I have no doubt he will be above them. Since this whole thing kicked off, I'd wondered why Liu Kang chose me to be a champion. I mean, sure, I was killing it as a martial arts star, but it's one thing when it's all for show. It's different when you're playing for keeps. Then Liu Kang let me in on his master plan. He wanted the masses to know about the world beyond them, the one filled with gods and monsters, and he wanted me 
to tell him about it. But I knew revealing the truth all at once would be too shocking of a plot twist for most. That's why I pitched doing a bunch of stories to slowly get people used to it. And if there's one thing I can do besides kick ass and combat, it's build a cinematic universe. I'm serving up movies, streaming series, games, you name it. I like that I'm doing a public service and it doesn't hurt that I'm making more than a few bucks. It's the kind of synergy that would make any studio mogul proud. It was inevitable that the Shaolin masters had me join them. They knew just how much future initiates could learn from me. Shujinko was one of my earliest. His ability to absorb anyone's powers and skills was amazing. With the right training, he could become our greatest champion. I knew that I alone could give it to him. But as his proficiency grew, so did his ego. In love with himself and his power, Shujinko became a threat to the realms. He hadn't learned humility because I wasn't the one who could teach it. I should have listened to Raiden's warning and not tried to train Shujinko alone. After he was subdued, Shujinko's accumulated abilities and memories were taken from him. He is once again a new initiate, ready to begin his training. This time, Raiden and I train Shujinko together. He will become the champion he is destined to be. And I will fulfill my duties humbly and cooperatively. After escaping Lei Chin prison, I was hounded by the Imperial police. I needed a place to hide and to recuperate while I plotted the best way forward. I knew the remote canton of my youth would be perfect. To escape capture, I traveled by sea. Little did I know that a gargantuan storm was brewing. My tiny craft was smashed apart. I closed my eyes, waiting to drown, hoping that the Netherrealm wouldn't claim my soul. But when I reopened them, I found myself not in hell, but on a deserted island. From its ruins, I could tell that great sorcerers had once lived there. In the caves beneath the ruins, I found what I can only describe as a well of souls. Once I learn how to wield its power, I will become invincible. Though worried about how the public might react, I met with Baraka to discuss his Tarkatans. Speaking from his heart, he moved me. I agreed to visit his colony and see how his people lived. The conditions were atrocious. This was one of my mother's few mistakes. Like all Outworlders, she treated Tarkatans with scorn. What they deserved from us was compassion. And the only way to get it for them was to reveal my affliction. To show all my subjects that even an Empress could get Tarkat. The scandal my revelation caused was intense. But with the help of Katana and Tanya, I emerged from it a stronger empress than ever. My honesty, empathy, and resolve won over my remaining doubters. There is no longer any question that I am fit to lead the Empire. As her reign began, Empress Melina faced many challenges. To meet them, she turned to the people she trusted, her sister to lead her army, and me to lead her Imperial police. Though I missed Empress Sindel dearly, I was glad my ties with her family had been mended. 
But while it was an honor to be made responsible for Outworld's internal security, I soon realized accepting the appointment was a mistake. I'm not cut out to be a bureaucrat, nor am I patient enough to navigate the Imperial Court's politics. I was at my best patrolling Sundo's streets, when I could feel the city's pulse and serve and protect its citizens directly. That's why I resigned my post and resumed my role as Sundo's first constable. I end each day knowing I've made a difference. Quan Chi's plot collapsed. Along with it, my plan to secure new beings to feed my starving people. Because I'd advocated for partnering with him, I was held responsible. If I didn't seize for Viternus' new feeding grounds, the Coven would banish me. But then, I had a revelation. I didn't need to conquer realms to feed my people. I simply needed to capture enough beings to breed them. Once they multiply, Viternus will have a limitless, renewable source of food. And I only need a few thousand to start. A number so small compared to the billions in the realms that no one will notice as people go missing. But it will be more than enough to establish our breeding stock and feed a ravenous Viternus. Were it not for my godly counterpart, I would not have survived the battle against Titan Shang Tsung. Meeting him, though, raised questions. Why did I replace him in this new era? Why was I made mortal? Lord Liu Kang told me of his Raiden's nobility and righteousness, about his steadfast leadership in the defense of Earthrealm. He also told me about Raiden's dark side, how he could be consumed by rage and cast aside the rules he otherwise lived by. Making me mortal and incapable of such anger was to keep me from following in his footsteps. Though I understood the reasons why, I felt I had been done a disservice. To survive the coming battles, I may need the edge that only great rage can bring. As the Shaolin couldn't aid me, I sought out someone who could. Someone to stoke the fire within me and teach me to master it. For this, I could have no better teacher than the Shirai Ryu's Grand Master. To elude capture by Empress Melina, I joined Havoc's Crusade in Saido. There, I summoned more magic than I thought possible and drowned out the old regime. Havoc's longed-for anarchy had been achieved. He was more than satisfied. But I was left empty and broken. Had I been satisfied as Outworld's High Mage, not let myself be tempted by Shang Tsung, a great city would not now lay in ruins. I've caused devastation, ended thousands of lives, all because of my blind ambition. I've betrayed my oath, my sovereign, and my realm. These high crimes merit punishment, and I'll accept whatever the Empress gives me. My only ambition now is to one day be forgiven. Quan Chi's defeat had cost me everything. For months I had furthered his plot, and now I had to start over. Saido's people were still in chains. That's when Rain approached me. On the run from Empress Melina, he was desperate for help. And though I'd had my fill of sorcerers, this one was different. I agreed to provide him safe haven. He agreed to help topple Saito's government. And topple it we did. Rain summoned a wave so fast, 
so powerful that it crushed the capital. Saito's fascist rulers were swept away. My people are finally free. They can chart their own course, needing only to follow their own desires. Their lives are now blessed by anarchy. After fleeing Outworld, I hadn't expected to return. But then I also hadn't expected the new Empress to make me an offer I couldn't refuse. To thank me for helping stop General Shao's rebellion, she asked me to be her emissary to the Zaterans. Going home, bearing the seal of the royal house, I would show once and for all, that my mutation wasn't to be feared. That it wasn't a source of shame. To my surprise, I was welcomed. But those warm smiles hid a dark secret. I stumbled upon a trove of official records, which showed that my shape-shifting ability isn't unique. Many Saterans are born with it, but are killed by their government to keep it from spreading. Who started this barbaric policy? Who is now enforcing it is unknown. But I will find out. And I will put an end to this madness. The battle has been lost, but the war isn't over. I won't stop fighting until I take Outworld's throne. That they thought Lei Chin Prison would hold me is laughable. Once free, I began planning my next campaign. I would need an unstoppable army to overthrow Melina. Unfortunately, most of my former soldiers lacked the courage to rally to my standard. Rebuilding my army would require finding new recruits. And that task is proving easier than expected. Outworld's golden age has left more than a few behind. Without hope, without power, they eagerly heed my call to tear down Molina's government. As the darkness enveloped me, I took a long, last look at my family. I did not expect to see them again until their souls joined mine in the living forest. But miraculously, my beloved husband delivered me from oblivion. Though he couldn't save my body, Jared had preserved my soul. Like him and countless others, I am now a part of Ermac. Yet ours is not a peaceful repose. The collected souls within Ermac have their own needs and agendas. Before we can speak as one, we must first reach consensus. I had thought, as the former rulers of Outworld, I and Jared would hold sway. But here we are, two souls among many thousands, fighting for the right to be heard. And if there is one thing we do well together, it is fight. We will win the right to govern Ermac as we once had governed Outworld. And we will rule for the benefit of all. No sooner had Titan Shang Tsung been defeated than Bi Han and his loyalists hunted us down. Outnumbered, we fled to Japan. There, we sought refuge from an old family friend. As children, we played together. But Harumi Shirai was a woman now, the head of her clan. Her strength, beauty, and intellect awed me. Also incensed by Bihan's betrayal, Harumi agreed to help me forge a new clan, one that would stand against him and defend Earthrealm. Her aid proved invaluable, and as time went on, we grew closer. To honor Harumi 
and pay respects to my new bride. I named the clan after her, calling it the Shirai Ryu. Now the battle against my brother begins in earnest. The Shirai Ryu won't rest until Bihan is defeated and the Lin Kuei's honor restored. I had broken the Lin Kuei free of Liu Kang's enslavement. We were now masters of our destiny and could take our place among Earthrealm's great nations. But taking and holding territory would require a vast army. I needed more fighters to make our presence felt. Then I recalled Shang Tsung's dragon warriors. An army of them would be unstoppable. But trafficking in such strong magic would surely draw Liu Kang's attention. Sector advised that we avoid detection by building our army using science, not sorcery. We've invested much into this endeavor, and we are beginning to see results. Once again proving the depths of Sector's genius. When we are done, all of Earthrealm will honor our desires and heed our demands. If not, they will face the Lin Kuei's wrath. Kui Liang and I were working hard to build our new clan. But even with the help of his close friend Harumi, it was difficult. The biggest problem was finding the right initiates. Then, one night, while walking outside Harumi's compound, I was attacked. I thought at first it was a Lin Kuei assassin, but his strikes were too uncertain, too angry. My attacker, it turns out, was a boy. Homeless and hungry, his assault was born of desperation. He needed money so that he could eat. It was like looking at myself 15 years ago. I would have ended up just like him if the Lin Kuei hadn't taken me in. So I took the boy to Kui Liang, who also appreciated his fire. We made him our first initiate. The boy's name? Hanzo Hasashi. I couldn't believe that Liu Kang welcomed me in Earthrealm, or that he thought me worthy to study with his Shaolin masters. After a lifetime of wishing for one, I finally had a home. But my joy was tempered as I thought about Serena. My shadow sister was still under Quan Chi's yoke, and she deserved a life free of him as much, if not more, than I. Quan Chi and my other sisters proved tenacious, but they were no match for my blade. I snatched Serena from them. Then Liu Kang helped me break Quan Chi's spell. Her mind free of his influence for the first time in years, Serena chose to join me in Earthrealm. My sister and I once again fight side by side. Only now we do so for Earthrealm. Together, we have formed the Order of Light. While the regime had changed, little else had. My people still suffered in silence, ignored by the rest of Outworld. Though now I knew Empress Melina's secret, that she was also afflicted with Tarkot. If anyone would help, it would be her. But how to get an audience? Sizoth. He was the Empress's new emissary to the Zaterans. I asked him to introduce us. At great personal risk, he agreed. And as I'd prayed, the Empress was willing to meet. Even better, she would visit the colony. She was shocked to see how we lived. She moved quickly to provide for our care and comfort. Thanks to the Empress and Sizoth, we Tarkatans are no longer pariahs. 
until our disease can be cured. That will do. I wasn't looking for allies against the Yakuza, but I found one in Special Agent Jackson Briggs. He'd heard gangsters plotting to kill me on a wiretap and came calling, hoping I'd be his informant. We planned to part ways when we got the job done, but then Shang Tsung showed up to steal Sento. <laughs> Needless to say, Jackson had questions. It blew his mind to hear that the stories in Johnny's movies were real. Once the shock wore off, Jackson quickly sized up the threats Earthrealm faced. To deal with them, he got his bosses at the FBI to form the Outworld Investigation Agency. When he asked me to sign on, I hesitated. After all, me? A government agent? But it's an important job, and more importantly to me, an honest living. General Shao's revolt left Outworld's armies in tatters. We were vulnerable to enemies both foreign and domestic. That's why my sister asked me to take command, to stitch her military back together and purge Shao's loyalists within it. She trusted only me with the task. The soldiers, however, had little faith. They thought me a spoiled dilettante unprepared and unfit to serve. That I could fight mattered little. All that mattered was that I wasn't one of them. I finally earned their loyalty by orchestrating an epic victory over Shao and his rebels. Though the general himself escaped, his forces were smashed. For as long as I am able, I will lead the Empress's armies in defense of Outworld. Through strength, we will achieve peace. Until recently, I hadn't met Li Mei, but I had heard the stories. How the Umgadi's matron superior blamed her for not preventing Emperor Jared's murder. How she quit in disgrace rather than accept punishment. But those stories didn't fit the woman I now knew. Li Mei would never have been so negligent. Eventually, I uncovered the truth. The failures and mistakes which led to the Emperor's murder, they resulted from poor decisions made by the Matron Superior themselves. They madely made their scapegoat. When the Empress found out, she wanted the Umgadi disbanded. But I convinced her that it could be reformed. To make sure it did, she put me in charge. I am humbled by this sacred responsibility. The Umgadi, my sisters, they are my life. I will not let them be brought down by the acts of a selfish few. Though the barriers between timelines had been rebuilt, there was no question that they could again be broken. Protecting this timeline would require eternal vigilance, so that it could not fall victim to further outside aggression. But nothing in my countless lifetimes had prepared me for this task. In none of them had multiple timelines ever coexisted. Monitoring them for threats was an entirely novel problem. It would require a novel solution. I discovered that though the timelines no longer touched, their meeting had left them intertwined. I can now secretly surveil all timelines, keeping watch for potential danger. It pleases me to do this service for the new era. Lord Lu Kang may rest assured that it is secure.